Hello and welcome my fellow Homo Sapien friends and we've brought with us today a new video for the Planet of the Apes game which is actually coming out in November the 21st. Now some of you who already know me should know that this comes out two days before my birthday so what an amazing birthday present this will be for me. I have been looking forward to this since E3 and since I did my last video on it as well, which I'll also leave at the end, so you can re-watch that and see what I've said. Now, I did receive the email on Friday announcing all this sort of stuff and a few bits of information, which I'll also post in the video. And I'll also have some like artwork and screenshots from the actual game as well, but we'll do that nearer the end. So without any other further delays, let's crack on and get on with this video. Now I apologise if you can't actually read it on the screen right now, but I'm going to read it out anyway for you. So here we go. London, November 3rd, 2017. Today the Imaginarium announced the PS4 version of the cinematic narrative adventure Planet of the Apes Last Frontier will be released on the 21st of November 2017 in North America and Europe. Our aim is to bring new depth to choice-based adventure and offer that to our audience as an immersive cinematic experience. This is from Andy Serkis, the founder of Imaginarium. He also then goes on to say, I'm proud to say that the Planet of the Apes Last Frontier does just that, combining the merits of both premier performance capture and next generation storytelling. Now, I apologise if I stuttered through all that. I have a problem with reading and talking at the same time so <laughs> I did try my best with that so yeah so what basically like he's gonna have a lot of motion capture in the game which is absolutely fantastic with me now from what I'm gathering from what has been said that the game is going to be a little bit like the telltales but it's gonna be more of a cinematic experience so you control the story so imagine yourself sitting in a cinema and you're you, you're complaining about the way something ended. Well, now we he's given you the choice to create your own ending. So you create the story on this one. So imagine you're sat in a cinema playing, well, watching and playing this game. And you've got people watching behind you and stuff like that. And you're creating this now. So every choice, every decision you make now controls this story. Now, now to me, that is a fantastic idea. I've often thought, like, you know, when you watch a film at a cinema and you're sitting there and you're thinking, well, that could have gone a lot differently. Like, what if I'd have had the choice to do this and this? So having that choice in a game as well as having, like, watching at the same time, it's absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm not going to read this whole section out for you because, yeah, last time failed. But basically, this game is going to be based in between the two films of Dawn and War. Now, if you haven't seen both of these, that's fine. I don't think it's going to tie in too much with that. It's just that's how the timeline in, uh, timeline is. So these characters are not going to be anything to do with the films. That's not to say that we might get a cameo of someone from the films. Doubt it, but it's possible. Also in the email it says that it's part of the play link for the PS4 range. Now, I'm not too familiar with how this works, but I think that you connect it to your phone and then you have up to four people, I think it is. And basically you can all type in a decision. I think it like calculates like the majority vote and then uses that one. So that's that's a pretty cool idea as well. So if you've got like a couple of friends that you want to play it with as well, just get them over and you can just tap the decisions and see what kind of story you make together I mean obviously it's probably better on your own to play this but you know it's always fun to have other people around other people playing so this game may be purchased digitally now the prices are on there um, it also comes with a special pre-order bundle which I um, I don't know I want to find out about because if it comes with the game soundtrack that sounds pretty awesome like, I'm, I quite like soundtracks for some of the movies and games that are out at the moment and I'm trying to get my hands on them actually. So having the soundtrack for this game uh, would be absolutely fantastic. And with a lovely added bonus of getting five ape avatars for your PS4 too. Now unfortunately this is only for PS4, it is an exclusive for PS4, 
which is, you know, a bit unfortunate for the Xbox and PC fans out there. Now, I don't know whether they're going to bring it to these platforms eventually, or whether it's just exclusively for PS4. I kind of hope that it is for everyone, because I want, I'd love to, for everyone to enjoy this cinematic experience. I mean, I will be streaming it, so what I may do with it is get the audience, people like you guys watching my stream, to make the decisions for me. Now, I'll obviously do a separate section of where I'll be making the choices myself, but while I'm streaming, I might do a like a live kind of decision-making stream so that like my viewers can have their say on the video as well. That'd be pretty cool, I think. That'd be a nice little addition to the channel. But I will leave all the links to my channels and um, like all my social media accounts at the bottom like I normally do. And obviously, I've been speaking to a lot of people at work and like going, yeah, you know, I'm going to be playing this Planet of the Apes game when it comes out near my birthday and stuff like this. And everyone has literally had the same answer, like, what is Planet of the Apes game? So, what, you know, I've done a video already on this, so I'm going to post that at the end. And now I've done this video, so I'm hoping this kind of clears it up for a lot of people who don't know what to expect and what Planet of the Apes is and what, what it's all about, basically. And I'm, I hope that I've cleared it up a little bit for you, and I hope that you've got a bit more excited about it now that you know a little bit more. Oh, I, honestly, I, I, I am so excited for this, and not just because it, it comes out just before my birthday, but just because it, it just looks fantastic, like graphically, environmentally, and, and it's a multiple choice. What can I say? I'm a sucker for multiple choice games. And having your own sort of influence in the decisions that go on and how you tell the story, it, just fantastic. And I really cannot wait to get this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the video out with some screenshots and artwork that are on the website, which I'll also post a link for in the comment section below. So if you have learned a bit more about this or you are looking forward to it, Please leave a like and a comment down below. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say goodbye now and then we're just going to play out the video. So thank you very much. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from me. Also hit the bell and you get a notification every time I post a new video. I try and post videos at least once a week. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult with working. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please take care. Follow Destiny Seekers. thing guys thank you for watching again if you could hashtag spread the love wherever you go that would really help me out as well spread the word spread my channel like a viral disease thank you so much bye